Officer Hernandez and myself were near the Main Street entrance doors when we heard some gunfire. So then we took off. I called down the radio to and started heading to the Lamar Street because that's where I knew the area that it was at. We made it over to the Lamar Street entrance. Officer Abbott and myself, there's two sets of doors there. We made it through the first set and we started receiving fire. I was shot on my left side, so we retreated. I went back with Officer Hernandez and Officer Pouncey to retrieve the tactical gear and the ARs. We went back to the Lamar Street side, and then that's when we noted we, there was fire, gunfire on the Elm Street side. So we made our way to the Elm Street side, noticed a trail of blood going up to a stairwell. We made entry into the stairwell, received fire, and that's whenever we went and met up with DPD and then started checking the first floor of the building. And then I held my position, guarding some stairs. And we went through the Lamar Street door, immediately started taking fire. The glass door exploded in front of me. Um, then we, as you said, we pulled back to go get tactical gear. I recognized the, the rifle fire, uh, held the door with Officer Mon. Uh, I made egress once. There was still firing going on. I pulled back in. Went out a second time, uh, locked onto what turns out to be the subject vehicle. Uh, DPD at that point was still exchanging fire and told me to go back inside. I managed to get back in, held the door uh, as Corporal was coming up. Uh, DPD was pushing up, pushing forward on him. I joined in with those guys and noted uh, an officer was down on the street or on the sidewalk about 20 feet up. Grabbed him, pulled him back out of line of fire. It turns out it was officer, uh, Dart Officer Brent Thompson, who's a friend of mine. Uh, tried to perform any medical aid I could on him at that point, but uh, he was pretty much gone. We loaded him in a vehicle. He was evacuated from the scene. Uh, as I, as we went around the corner, or getting ready to go around the corner to re-engage the fight, Corporal Shaw called on the radio, said he was inside the building. DPD and I then uh, re-entered the building from Lamar Street, uh, started securing the floors at that point. While we were downstairs, there was a call for tactical gear from some of the Dallas SWAT officers who were on scene beforehand. Uh, we had some leftover equipment or extra equipment. I went and grabbed that with another Dallas officer. We went to the stairwell just outside where the subject was, uh, brought the, the gear to them. Then I started realizing where he was, started giving them descriptions of the locations, telling them that depending on his location, if he was in a certain area, he could still get out moved in with the Dallas SWAT team in their, I guess their command center or their post, uh, helped them to get some officers in positions to keep them from being able to, to get out, uh, stayed with those guys for a while. Then there was a request that there was about 30 students and faculty that had sheltered in place on the seventh floor, helped uh, evacuate those guys. Um, we had another two that were downstairs, Officer Mon and I, Went and got those two guys from down in the basement and came back. We relocated uh, with Corporal Shaw, stayed there for that, and then we're uh, with Chief Hannigan, Shaw, myself, Mon, and I think, yeah, it was just us, another DPD officer. We went and evacuated another eight people that were downstairs, pulled those guys out, and then we're asked to evacuate, or after uh, detonation, we were asked to evacuate the building because there was possible other IEDs throughout.